helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. Welcome to Moms Every Day. I'm Hattie Cheek. Dr. Willems is back with us from Marshall Urology at Capel Huntington Hospital. Good to see you here again. Good to be here again. Well, we're, we're going to be talking about bladder cancer, but I want to have a better idea of what that is and what it means for somebody who has it. Bladder cancer is a cancer along the lining of the bladder. Uh, it's pretty common. Um, mm -hmm. About 74,000 cases of bladder cancer are going to be diagnosed this year. And unfortunately, about 15,000 people will die because of bladder cancer. Wow, and I mean, mm -hmm. I, what are the symptoms that we're looking at here? Typically, blood in your urine is the most common symptom that we see, but some people um, will present with severe urgency, that strong desire to urinate, and uh, go into the bathroom multiple, multiple times. That along with blood, you need to worry about bladder cancer. But do people, do people actually seem to worry about it, or do they usually think something else is going on? Because those seems like, they seem like general symptoms that can mean various different things. It's often overlooked. Uh, there's a lot of urgency frequency from drinking caffeine and coffee. Yeah. Uh, but it's that urgency frequency that just doesn't go away, that's there all the time, that's every time you go to urinate, that's what you need to worry about. So if you're sensing something like that, then you need to check out a doctor. Now, and you guys have been using this new test to basically scan for bladder cancer. It's called CISVIEW. What is that? Explain it to me. What does it do? Typically, when you try to diagnose bladder cancer, you look into the bladder and you look to find tumors. Mm -hmm. um, th these tumors are there and you look at them under a normal white light technology. With CISVIEW, it is a vision intensifier and you can see on the video that you can see how the tumor yes. just lights up. And what's nice about this is that maybe 10 to 20 percent of tumors under normal white light circumstances are going to be missed. With the cis view, we can see those tumors that you may not normally see under normal white light. Now, a tumor like you just saw, we'll generally see, but those smaller ones yeah. that you're seeing right there, those are the tumors that may have been missed and may account for recurrences. Because they're very small, but when you see that, that bright red light, you can at least notice there's something that's going on there. Correct. That's where the cancer is. And, and is that, in de is that definitely cancer that's spotting cancer or, or just a tumor that could be cancer? No, that is cancer. That that's is a malignancy. Cancer because malignant cells have a potential, have a certain fluorescence, and, um, and this helps intensify that so that you can see it in a better way. And now, when you're finished resecting, if you don't see red, well, then all your cancer is gone. And it is, it's that instant. You go in, mm -hmm. if you're doing this test, you, you'll know afterwards then. You will. Now, bladder cancer has a tendency to recur. Okay. And I tell my patients 70% of the time it will recur, recur. So there's a need for surveillance. But mm -hmm. after the best time to treat a cancer is the first time, and after it's resected, is a low likelihood that uh, you'll have more problems if you keep your surveillance protocols. So you don't like to say that it's curable, it's, it's just treatable. That's right. We, we will typically follow somebody very closely for mm -hmm. the first two years and then extend that out every six months for the next three years and then surveillance for the rest of your life. And now you've, that program, you've only been using that for, what, a few months now? We, we introduced it to, at Cabell Huntington Hospital about two or three months ago, and we are the only hospital in the area that's currently using it. Mm -hmm. It does give us a, a, a head up on, on trying to uh, uh, find the cancers and resect them while we see them the first time. And you've been seeing some, I mean, just how has it been for you guys? What, is, what kind of a difference is it making? Well, I think it gives us more confidence that we've gotten the tumors out mm -hmm. when we resect it the first time. Bladder cancer is prevalent. It's prevalent in smokers. It's prevalent in people who are in certain industries. So it's important to understand um, what your risk factors are and to try to minimize those and then seek attention if you have those symptoms. All right. And if people are having symptoms or if they want any more information, how can they get in contact with you? What, the, what should they do? Well, they can just call us at the Marshall Urology, Cabell Huntington Hospital. And there's three urologists there, myself, Dr. Weiner and Dr. Jensen. And uh, we'll get them in and, and evaluate them. And, and the number is right there up on your screen, guys. It's 304-691-1900. And I just real quick, you said there are a few more people who are more at risk 
for getting this? The risk factors are smoking, three times more common in non-smokers. Even secondhand smoke can predispose you to bladder cancer. And smoking, very common here in it's West very, Virginia very and the Tri-State. Absolutely. And, and people are exposed to certain chemicals like certain dyes, certain cleaning agents, uh, broad spectrum across their, their uh, job are at higher risk. Okay, so that's definitely something that you want to pay attention to. And for when somebody does have these symptoms, when they think, okay, I definitely, I I should go in and check this. How long is the process for getting that test done, that cyst view that we were talking about? When a cyst view is used at the time of the operation, so mm -hmm. a patient will come to the pre-op area, we'll put the dye in, let it sit there for about 45 minutes to an hour, um, and then we'll take them back and use the blue light and uh, find the tumor. All right, great. Well, thank you for being with us. Good information. Just head to our website if you need any more. Click on the Moms Every Day tab. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good one.